What's going on guys? We are back once again and we are going to be continuing another review. Uh, again, I'm not, I know it's, I think it's still airing, but at the same time, I'm not watching it. Um, the Connors, that was Roseanne and you guys, you know, I've talked about this, I think one time on the channel, but I wanted to go ahead and just give my own, uh, I would say review on the Connors because again, I don't, I don't care for this show. I don't. I, re I really, really don't. Um, I started watching it because obviously I was a fan of the original Roseanne. And then how they upgraded the characters. Not really upgraded them, but continued the, I would say, story of these characters. And they, they fucked up. They really did. They, they fucked up. And... That's really the only thing I can say is they really fucked up this show. They did. And I'm not trying to cuss so much, but they did. Because they made the characters like feel so stupid. It's because when we continued the story, and again, I'm, I'm staying out of this for what Roseanne Barr said. Again, there's, you know, everyone has their own opinion. She's entitled to her own opinion. And again, whether you, you agree or disagree, I'm talking about the show. They made the characters so stupid. They really put a back step especially on becky um losing mark which again the actor he did die uh and then she became an alcoholic and she got with a uh, bus boy at work then she got pregnant and, and that that whole story right there it just it made the character feel like that she didn't grow as a character or as a person um dan still working a mediocre job unfortunately still doing the same thing having a hard time finding work doing drywall doing fixing jobs cars and it just felt like that his that his character didn't grow so much and unfortunately you know they killed off Roseanne's character saying she got hooked on pain pills and she died and then having Darlene you know David he he was too busy doing whatever and he was not there for his kids so the kids and Darlene move in permanently with them and the way they got her kids is just extremely weird I felt like that they really messed up with her characters for the kids I mean her oldest was a combination of her and uh David and I think that the oldest was a real brat and very annoying. And I think her son was very weird. And he, and, and you know, for before someone says, oh, because he's gay or this. No, it, it's not, it wasn't just really that. It was because they wrote the character thinking that he was not going to have issues with him being gay or him uh, dressing a certain way or acting a certain way. It's like he, the real world was not in his head. It's like he didn't understand how the real world would treat him. And that's pretty much what I think that they really messed up on. Is okay, you're gonna have people out there that's gonna make fun of him. You have people out there that's gonna do all kinds of things that's gonna treat him very badly. And it's like they didn't really push that enough to understand. And I, I just again, I wasn't a fan of those characters. And then with DJ, him going apparently going into the military and then marrying the girl that he wouldn't want to kiss when he was younger. That really didn't make sense because they only showed her one time and I just kind of sat there and I I just, I don't know, man, it just didn't make sense. It just really didn't make sense to me. And like all, and he has a daughter, which again, it, it, it was fine. It just didn't make sense for the story. And I just wish that it would make more sense for the story. And when they did that, just like how they had, were supposed to have another brother and he's off doing something. Same thing with Jackie that didn't know her son was and didn't know what he was doing and they didn't really bring it up. And then they made Jackie an absolute idiot. They did. They made Jackie more of an idiot that, you know, I, we would think that she would grow as a character, but she didn't. And, you know, she got more stupid. She started acting more like her mother, which was absolutely, you know, it was funny and stupid because she became the thing she hated. And again, it's just like, what are you guys doing? It just feels like the writers doesn't, did not know how to treat the characters after so long of being away. It just, you know, I just feel like that they kind of missed the ball. Like, hey, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to we're gonna treat them like crap. And we're going to, you know, make them this. And we're going to be woke as hell. And it just seemed like that it was a very woke show. And they bring other characters in there. And they bring other actors in there. And it's like, can it save the show? Again, I don't think so. Because, again, I just feel like that the show itself, that they were catering more to new fans rather than the older fans. And they were wanting to care about 
you know, wanting to bring their current, you know, what, what people think is current or what people think need to be the new normal. And again, I don't agree with that. They needed to have the characters make sense. They need to have the characters grow. They need to make the characters understand that, you know, we've been, we know these characters, we know these characters, anyone that has been a Roseanne fan, as long as I have, we're going to know these characters. We're going to call this out on there. And again, the car has been going on for so long. I, I understand people like this show. I'm not a fan of the show. And again, if you give me crap for it again, fine. You know, I don't like the show, but at the same time, I'd rather stick to the older Roseanne. That's just me. But it just, a lot of things that they want to show in the show just doesn't make sense. It doesn't, I would say, uh, is very agreeable to what Roseanne was back then. And they're wanting to kind of, I guess, change the way to the current form. I don't know. Maybe that's just the way it is. I don't know. But what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about the show overall? Was it good? Was it bad? You guys still watching it? But either way, everyone has their opinion at the end of the day. I'm not watching it. I can have an opinion on it. But at the same time, I'm just I'm not going to watch something I'm not going to enjoy. But either way, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. And I'll see you guys on the next one.